One of the great questions that, uh, that comes from, to Bible stu students is, how exactly should I study God's Word? You know, we all know the Bible is the Word of God. We all understand it's a fascinating and unique book. But you say, how in the world can there be so many different denominations, so many different churches, so many different ideas that come out of one book, and yet that one book be true? Well, the reason for that is that people study it in different ways. They look at it from different perspectives. And you say, well, then how should I look at it? How should I come to the Scripture? Should I come to it in the, the way my denomination teaches me to? Or and if my denomination teaches one way and another teaches another way, well, how do I know which one is right? Maybe we just relegate ourselves back to the tradition that we've been raised in and, uh, and appreciate that. Is, that. is that satisfying? Is that, is that what pleases God? Well, the real answer is that God himself tells us in his word how to study his word. I've said many times on this broadcast, you don't read a book, uh, you don't read every book the same way. You don't read a phone book, for example. You don't use a phone book or a dictionary the same way you would read a novel or a, 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 a scientific textbook. You don't use an encyclopedia the same way that you would use a, a book of poetry. Uh, each, kind of a, each book has a specific, understandable way to read it. When you come to the Word of God, God has provided a verse in the Scripture that tells you how to study it. 2 Timothy 2.15, Paul says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now that verse has got a couple of real important things. First, you've got to study. God's word doesn't yield its treasure to people who aren't willing to study. People say, well, I want it to be simple. I want it to be easy. Anything worth having isn't going to be simple and easy, friend. And to get the truth out of God's word, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to study. You're going to have to uh, pursue the treasure like a miner pursues the, the gold in the earth. It, it's, it's someone who's willing to put the effort in to think and to pursue truth finds truth. Study to show thyself approved unto God. The great aim, the great goal in your study needs to have, be to have God's approval. Not mama's approval, not daddy's approval, not the church's approval, not the preacher's approval, not your, your spouse's approval, not your kid's approval, not my approval, not a religious system's approval, but to have God's approval. Well, how do I do that? Rightly dividing the word of truth. That issue of rightly dividing. When you rightly divide something, is you, you separate it when you divide it, and when you rightly divide it, you separate it correctly. Now, a lot of times people use that verse and they, they misunderstand it. The verse doesn't say rightly dividing truth from error. The verse says rightly dividing the word of truth. Listen, there's no error in the scriptures of truth. Okay? You understand that? There's no error in the word of truth. When he says rightly dividing the word of truth, he's talking about taking the word of God, the truth that God has given, the scriptures of truth, and making the divisions and separations in them that God himself has made in them. Separating truth from truth. All the truth given by God, but it isn't all the same, and it needs to be separated, distinguished between things.